Exercises during paresis are difficult and extremely important to get correct. Therefore, we highly recommend that if you do not already see a specialist facial therapist, you ask your doctor to refer you to one urgently. Rounding the lips is a very important movement which we use in speech, whistling, kissing and blowing. Remember, there can be a strong tendency to overdo movements during exercise and it's important to be gentle. Unlike the smile exercise which you could practice on each side individually, it's important to practice rounding the lips on both sides at the same time as this is how it always works. The lip muscle is a circular muscle which goes round the outside of the lips. This is the green muscle shown in the picture. As you round the lips, the muscle pulls the corner of the lips inwards and forwards, as shown by the arrows. Touching just inside the corners of the lips as you round them can help you round the lips better, as you can make sure your fingers are moving towards each other equally. It's important to know where the muscle is and how it moves before you can even begin to try relearning your lip rounding. Step 1. Place your fingers just inside the corners of the lips on both sides. When you round the lips, the fingers should move closer to each other and the lips should move gently forwards. Step 2. Pay attention to the lips, making sure one side doesn't work harder than the other. We often find that one side will push the other side off centre and it's really easy to lose the symmetry of the lips on this exercise if you aren't careful and gentle. This is all about practicing a small, symmetrical forward movement. Step three. If it's difficult to keep the lips symmetrical as you round them, use the fingertips to just help make sure the movement on both sides is balanced and equal. Step four. After each movement, it's important to completely relax your lips. You can keep your fingers in position while you're relaxed if you want to. The effort used in your lips should be no more than 2 or 3 out of 10. Although this may seem like a tiny exercise, facial movement normally is effortless, so this really is the correct way to practice. After each movement, remember to completely relax your face before trying again. The lips must start moving at the same time on each side, move inwards and forwards the same amount on each side, stop at the same point on each side, and then relax at the same time on each side. Remember, you should be feeling the movement around the lips, not anywhere else, especially not in the cheek. After each movement, completely relax your face before trying to round the lips again. There may be just a flicker of movement initially, and that's absolutely fine. Movement should never be pushed too hard. The most important thing is that it is balanced and equal on both sides. In the early stages, the lip muscles will get tired extremely easily, so you should stop if you are finding you lose concentration, the movement feels unbalanced, or you are tensing the muscles. It's important to practice little and often, perhaps five repetitions carried out five times a day. You may find it helpful to think about gently blowing bubbles through a bubble wand as you are rounding the lips, as thinking about something like this helps the brain find the muscles more easily and makes the training even better. Try to remember to use your balanced lip movement throughout the day, for example, when you are speaking to people. This won't come naturally at first, but the more you use it, the more naturally it will come. Some things, like sucking on a straw, take a bit more effort, but it will be really important to try and get the lips as balanced as you can at all times and really try to stop them twisting to one side.